Today we're gonna to talk about productivity. And after working with literally hundreds of people in the dropshipping field, I've noticed that that's a big issue for a lot of people. And not in the way you think it is. What happens in reality is that most people just focus on things which feel productive but are completely unproductive. For example, you can start reading some kind of marketing book. Or you can start thinking about how to design your logo. Or you're gonna start thinking on how many product pages you need to import into your store to make it look nice when people go off your product page. Or all those little details which are miles away. You start watching hundreds of YouTube videos, you feel very productive because you're learning something new when in reality it's just entertainment. Now the right approach here is first to understand what your priorities are. And after you understood that, then only handle one thing at a time. Because what's gonna happen to you is you're gonna, for example, start doing product research. And you do product research, you find a product, and you think it's amazing. And then instantly you're gonna get distracted and think, all right, now I have to create a store, now I have to instantly do the ads, find 25 competitors, I think of all the creative angles which I can use for this product, and instantly you jump into that product until you find the next product and you do the same. And you do all of this without properly launching your store the right way. Right now I'm gonna tell you how you should actually do this. So first of all, you need to understand that the very first step is product research. And you need to make sure that you only do product research without getting distracted, even if you find a good product. So what you do is you do product research, make a list with all the products you find, which fit your criteria, and you do that until you have a really big number there. So at least like 30 to 50 you need to find before even selecting anything. And here, you need to be extremely intolerant. If you see that something is not perfect, just don't test it, don't make your life harder because there's an infinite amount of products to test. Just because you personally like it doesn't mean that it's a good product. So, so the only thing I wanna say here is you need to structure your day in a way where it's only money-making activities one by one, okay? You cannot jump around, do taxes, think of how to create a company. All of this bullshit is for later and you should also not think about how do you brand, how do you work with suppliers, how do you do all of those things where you didn't even have your first order. Why do you care about any suppliers if you didn't have your first order? It doesn't make sense. So the main thing is just make a list with all the things you need to do and do them one by one and make sure that you only do the things which actually matter and get you closer to profit. Now that was that. However, what I also wanna talk about is how to actually prioritize your days. And I wanna share my screen here and show you exactly how this should look like and how you should just plan out your calendar the right way. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the calendar and most people would do it like this. Most people would say, yeah, so for the next like two and a half hours, I'm gonna do product research. And this would be completely wrong because product research consists of 25 different things. Number one is just searching through one platform and writing down the link and the product name into another separate sheet. And, doing, uh, and finding 30 products like that. You don't do any in-depth research, you don't search for competitors of a product, you just go through, let's say AdSpy or PP Ads or whatever you, you do your product research on, and you just copy a product which you think might be good, you just copy the link, copy the name into a sheet, and do that, okay? So that you're gonna do, let's say, for half an hour. So just copy products into a sheet, AdSpy. Um, that's bad. So you basically do that on one platform. And then you do another 30 minutes for the same thing, but just on TikTok. So TikTok, copy products. And then after doing that, you're gonna do another platform and another platform and another platform. And um, you basically will fill it in until let's say one, then you're gonna plan out half an hour break, one hour break, however much you need to eat. Um, and after that, it's gonna get started with, okay, doing some more in-depth research on, the on, on all the products and doing that the proper way. Now we already outlined like five different things where it's not just product research because product research by itself will get you lost. You're not gonna be productive at all. If you just say, I'm gonna go do product research today. That's not, trust me, you're not gonna be able to do it because you need to micro plan every single detail what you wanna do. And then it's a pretty easy task. You need to make your life easy. And the easiest task here is just copy the products out of into a sheet. Copy it from here to here, to from here to here. And if you just do this, instead of writing product research as you to-do list, it's gonna be so much better. Now, what's also gonna happen is sometimes you're gonna see that one task is gonna take you much longer. For example, if some kind of problem occurs or some, something happens, it's just gonna take long. Or you see that TikTok product research is doing so well right now and you find so many good products, you're just gonna extend it on the time on how much you actually did it. 
So let's say now it's already like 12.15 and you stop doing product research for on TikTok now, then you just pull this down and, and then you actually know how long this actually took. And this is gonna be with a lot of things where for example, you need to import products on your store or something like that. So you need to understand how long things take to actually get them done. And if you do it this way, you're just gonna be able to backtrack. Last time I connected the domain to my Facebook account, it took me 30 minutes. And if you have that, you're also gonna be able to plan out for next time way better. And what's probably gonna happen is you're just gonna underestimate the time because the first times you're gonna do this is the 30 minute slot you planned out on is gonna take two and a half hours and everything is just gonna be delayed, but that's fine. However, you need to make yourself one promise. And you need to make yourself a promise that every, plan, every task in your to-do list is gonna be accomplished by the end of the day. It doesn't matter if it's gonna take longer or, or it's gonna be quicker, but you need to do task-based to-do lists, okay? It doesn't matter how many hours per day you work. The only thing that matters is how many tasks you actually accomplished. Now, obviously, the task needs to be actually good. That's why I said previously, you need to only focus on money-making activities. But if that's the case, that's the only thing that matters. Now, one thing I wanna mention here again is also something else. You don't need to go to the gym to make money. You don't need to eat healthy to make money. You don't need to wake up at 4 a.m. and you don't need to read a book a day, read a book a week, whatever those guys say. However, all of those things are gonna enhance your life later on, but they're not connected at all to you right now. Because what you're doing is you listen to people who like literally have like hundreds of million and they tell you, listen, right now, I'm reading a book a day, I don't care about anything, that just gets me further. Great, but they've already made a shit ton of money and that's why they can take hours and hours per day to read books, okay? So this is not you and you need to pick your priorities. In some cases, I neglected my health just to get more into the business when it didn't work yet. I was way more into business than into eating healthy or going to the gym because that was my priority and that's it. I'm obviously not saying to get fat and lazy. However, what I am saying is you need to make the connection here that only money making activities will make you money. A lot of people think if they just print out like some kind of motivational saying and put it on their wall, they're gonna be rich. But that's not the case. You don't need to do all of that just to make money, okay? So that was it for the video and what I want you to do right now, binge watch the playlist of the stories my students had working with me and doing dropshipping in general. Because for me, it is really important that you understand that it's definitely doable to actually make money with this. Because why the fuck would you get productive and do all of this perfectly without even being 100% sure that this is gonna work out in the end if you do it right? So that's why I want you to watch this playlist and, and trust me, you're gonna learn tons of things through that. So click there and see you then.